Howdy, this is Athelred, worst Civ player on YouTube. And this is a very interesting screen that just popped up. Let's compare sticks. So, me and Napoleon are evenly matched. That's discouraging. Wow, Ethiopia got pummeled. Is there somebody we can have go to war with France for us for a little while, like Persia? Would you like to go to war with France? Or vice versa. France, would you like to go to war with everybody? Continue. How about you declare war on Persia? La One France gold per turn. How many... Did I already trade a coal? I traded a coal, so I can't do any more coal. But I will give you four gold per turn. Bien sûr que non. I'll give you five gold per turn. Nice! So, there's that on one side, and you can go to war with the Aztecs on the other side. How about that? Continue. <laughs> this is... This is just great. Oh, yeah. That's totally worth waiting for. Just let that war play out for a little while, and that'll make things a lot easier for me. That was good intel. That screen that popped up. That was nice. They gave me some critical information. Prague is calling. Prague is calling for faith. Don't have anything that I can trade. Though, conveniently, I do now know that mints, banks, mints, and stock exchanges give me happiness. So, I can just build those after the current set of, of buildings are done. That's not all bad. So atomic theory is coming along. Holy cow, I'm at 12 unhappiness. Please don't spawn any more troops. Please don't spawn rebels. I'll deal with it. I promise I'll deal with it. Thank you. Good grief. Okay. Um, I said I would deal with it. Um, I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> What's causing me so much unhappiness? Am I getting ideological pressure from somewhere? If I am, that's just maddening. Um, I can find that out from here. In the ideological screen. My people's preferred ideology is order. From the Aztecs, Incas, and the Huns. Man. I just hate these ideologies. Aztecs, Inca, and the Huns. The Aztecs. The Incas. What? The Incas? Okay. <laughs> The Aztecs, England, and the Huns. Okay, all right. Jeez, nothing I, nothing I. Ah, I've got, I've got cash. I can buy friends. Um, how long until my spy manages to affect Vilnius? Seven turns, and I'll run out of friendship with him soon. In the meantime, who else can I quickly become friends with? I could do Tyr. On the hopes that my trade rap picks up happiness with Kohikia later. So, this is, this is extremely maddening. And let's check what happiness am I... I'm getting jewelry and whales from there. And Tyr will give me... Whales, jewelry and whales, that's not a good deal. Jewelry and furs. Oh, but I'll, I think I only get those resources if I'm allied with them. Yeah. They want citrus, I don't have any citrus. Alright, here, I'll give you a thousand freaking gold. And I will... Trade with Adisa Baba. 
There's a stadium. My anti-aircraft gun is finally getting built. Hallelujah. So the stadium will bring me down to seven. And if I don't have anything else in queue in a CAD, then I'll go build like a bank or something. Um, or a stock exchange? Stock exchange. That'll give me some happiness. I've got somebody I can reassign to a workshop there. All right. How much longer on this episode before, before I go kill that dog? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't start my timer. 1932. The British, being the good guys they are, gave independence to the state of Iraq. So no longer under formal imperial control, although a puppet kingdom nonetheless. Faisal the Great, or Faisal the First, excuse me. I don't think there was anything really great about him. And Babylon has opened up. Uh, they finished a research lab, which means now they're going to work on a um, cargo ship. And my declaration of friendship with France has expired. Great, which means I can now Bonjour. denounce them if I wanted to. I don't really feel a strong need to. It's not like I've got good relations with anybody, really. Um, La France no, we're going to have to go it alone. Seven turns until I can start researching atomic theory, which I'll be doing in Babylon. So after the cargo ship, I will build a stock exchange, which will take me out approximately to... Um, the uh, the Manhattan Project. I just want one anti-aircraft gun. Too many times have I had my troops pummeled with those stinky little triplanes for me not to have an anti-aircraft gun. And who knows? I mean, there's some time between now and then. Persia and, and the Aztecs could pummel France for a little bit. And I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm going to go to war unhappy. It's just, it's going to be that way. Dear Kuragalsu, when you're done with this anti-aircraft gun, I would appreciate it if you were to build, uh... Let's see, now there's something else. If I were to pick up this castle wonder, then I could get plus one happiness from every castle I, that I don't have. Banks, stock exchanges. It's going to be stock exchanges. And can I temporarily, if I were to move folks onto production here, 7 and 14 turns, that, that helps. That helped. But somehow I went into the negatives on food. So let's see here. Let's go to citizen management. And let's move somebody off of this hill to go work that field and it's kind of a wash but I suppose I'm getting great engineer points I guess that was it was kind of a wash a citizen shuffling for nothing really I don't think I'm gonna win this game I don't I don't think it's gonna happen Hmm. Here's my cargo ship heading out to... Where is it? Kohikia. That'll complete that quest. I'll probably lose Vilnius this turn, but I'll, I've got the gold to buy them again. I did not lose Vilnius. Oh, because the election was rigged. That was a thing of beauty right there. So, nice. Foreign happiness is not the worst. Not the worst. And how quickly can I get my anti-aircraft gun up to the front? Jeez. What is it with freedom that banks... I guess that's capitalism that gives you happiness. 
At least, yeah, I've had time to quiesce all of my deals with France. I'll pick up uh, Tokyo while I'm up there. I mean, assuming that I don't get slaughtered. The unleashed power of the atom has Great. changed. Great. Academies everything. give me now Save more research than ever. Thinking. Please give me uranium. No? There's uranium right there. I want it. I'll have to annex the city in order to get it. Or I'll have to make deals with somebody for it. Because I'm not going to annex that city with the way my happiness is going. All right. Keep it rolling on. Yeah, fine. Ethiopian Persian, now friends. That's a strange friendship. Am I still one in literacy? Good. I feel Ethiopia chomping at the... Chomping at the bit? Tailing me? Right behind me? I don't know what the proper phrase is. I know they're right behind me. They're coming up on me. And I've got my anti-aircraft gun. Hallelujah. Losing grasp on tear. Well, that's fine because I think I've got something to take care of that. All right. This, that's all open terrain. So we'll do open and then we will do cover because I want it to be basically a defensive unit. And I'm also, I think, going to give it medic. Yes. Yeah, it's actually a really valuable unit now. And we'll bring him over here. He'll get there in 10 turns. All right. It's about it's it's about to get going now. So tear or tire. I'm about to lose happiness from them. I don't have any way of questing for it. Oh, but look. Vilnius is offering a quest right now for money. Who else is offering a quest for money? Nobody. I mean, nobody I'm interested in. So, fine. I'll give a gift. Um... Yes. I'll split the middle of the road. I mean, I know it's more effective to give a thousand, but I'm about to go to war. I'd like to have a pocketbook. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's stick together. Alright. Is this the turn where I declare war? Is this it? Is there anything else I need to do? My units are all... Ha <laughs> ha! I got the uranium! Hallelujah! Okay, where's my worker? There. Alright, so build that, stop your auto build, and then you'll come over here and deal with that. And what is left for me to do here? I'll move this infantry to this position. This tank will take this position. Um, and I think that's it. That is it. It's time. No, next turn. Because I will I will rush these dudes across the border and take these workers. So yep, and I'll kill his uh, his archaeologist as well at the same time. So next turn I'll hit him. In fact I could advance all of my units forward one because I've taken some land so I'll do that I'll move this tank down here um, yeah so he'll here he'll come here that means I'll be moving my troops like this that will put my artillery on hills which is nice And actually, I could move them forward again onto this uncontested space here 
That would enable me to just be a hop, skip, and a jump away from... How about five oil? Nice. Um... Yeah, so... Uh, uh, Alright, fine. I'm honest. But I say that only because I don't want to get some huge warmongering penalty with Ethiopia such that they... Um, such that they end up attacking me while I've got my back turned. It's the only reason why I say that. Um, do I have open borders with you? If not, I need it. Uh, um, where are you, Alex? I don't, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. So we need to accept embassies. Let's do that. Now let's do open borders. I'll buy your open borders. Not for that. Screw you. Um, I'll trade you open borders. Fine. <sighs> okay. Alright. So how am I going to conduct this war right now? Satsuma is going to be my first hit. We are going to... Bring... Oh, I can promote him? I thought, oh, he's not. He's a great war infantry. Um, well, hell of a time to figure that out. He's got a 70 combat strength versus what? What's the difference? Oh, 50 combat strength. I see. Yeah, bad timing. That's just bad timing. Okay, um, I'm going to upgrade you. And actually, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to end the episode here because I don't know how much I've gone over. And I don't really want to, up, you know, have a bunch of long episodes on my, on my um, channel. I just, I don't feel like that works with the format for me. So, uh, I'll just stop it right here. Save game. I'm done. So, thank you very much, guys. If you like the Let's Play or the history, please subscribe. We're a really tiny channel and we need your help to survive.